In soccer, there's something called a penalty kick where it's a forward versus a goalie and they have one shot and they either make it or they don't. It's a really high pressure situation for us and for them. So if at the end of the PK, I'm the one that ended up saving the ball, I'm so happy that I was able to contribute to a team win. When the PK goes in the shooter's hands and they actually score, you feel kind of defeated because you wanted to save it for your team. It's a lot of sadness and crying. <laughs> Off the field, we have to work on explosiveness, um, things that'll help us dive far, things that'll help us jump high. Nutrition has always been kind of a second thought. I always thought that because I work out so much that I was fine to eat whatever. And I remember the moment when I was like, I need to change my nutrition. It was after my sophomore year, our team had just lost in the second round of the NCAA tournament. And I walked off the field, went back to my house. I was really upset. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, I need to do more for myself and I need to do more for my team. And after that, I met our soccer nutritionist, our athletic nutritionist, and I even met with the football nutritionist. And I realized that my nutrition needed to be taken to a whole nother level. Now has supported my nutrition and active lifestyle in a very positive way. I'm really into adding superfoods to my diet, proteins and pre-workouts and being able to have all of the awesome nutrients that I want all in one place from now has made it really easy for me to meet my nutrition goals. My end goal has always been to play in one of the big Olympic games, in the big stadiums, with the big crowd. And once soccer's over, I want to help people with their nutrition. I see the way that nutrition affects people in such a positive and negative way. If I can help people bring all this great knowledge that I've learned to their home and they can teach their families, that is my end goal.